Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we are discussing a watch that ranks among the strangest and most wonderfully so that I have ever had the chance to share on the channel. Today we're discussing the Manufacturer Contemporain du Temps Sequential 2 S200 American Eagle Piece Unique, a watch that is an extraordinary combination of advanced features, fine finish, thematic contradictions, and intriguing backstory. This watch has got it all. You can see it and buy it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale, high-resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this MCT Sequential 2 S200 American Eagle. Now, this is a piece unique. Like the thematically related Russian Eagle Rich Edition, see, we all have more in common than we have different. The watch features strong nationalist imagery, including a hidden American flag that we'll explore in a moment, along with the American Eagle symbol at center that rotates 90 degrees each hour over a set of louvers, each set of which can exhibit three different numerals. Okay, it's better to describe and show than to simply describe. So, advancing through the time of day, make sure I've got this thing engaged, that eagle crest rotates every 60 minutes, and you'll note as we go around the dial, and revisit the louvers each time they will queue up a different number and you'll actually see them adjusting out of sequence. You, you'll note that the, the one that's exactly 180 degrees out of sequence will adjust itself and ultimately 12 o'clock is the American flag. All right, now that I've dispelled the mysteries about what it is and how it works, well, at least at face value, let's talk about how it fits. Now, on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, this is a watch that is big, but it wears easy. This is a 44.7 millimeter timepiece across the round of the case, not including the crown, as my calipers measure it. Now, it has a very unique hinge lug system that we'll discuss in a moment, and in terms of thickness, it's not as thick as it looks. 14.9 millimeters with a generously sloped lip to its box section sapphire. It's actually more of a cylinder section sapphire. This will slip underneath a dress cuff, but I don't think it's that kind of watch. Now, from lug to lug, the watch measures 53.2, which is certainly oversized, but let me show you how the lugs actually work. They're highly modular. And you can see one of the strangest applications of 18 karat white gold you'll ever encounter. It is a black DLC, that's diamond-like carbon coating on white gold. That's right, it's DLC coated precious metal. It also features a handsome grained finish that contrasts nicely with the polished hoods of the lugs themselves. Because of the hinge setup, you can actually pull the strap straight down, and you'll also note that the hinges are modular. They are attached to the bottom of the case via a separate fixture, and so they impart the case with a camber, like a curved case. Think Cartier Roadster and you get the idea. So it arcs over the wrist. I would say that though this is a big watch, and in gold, a heavy watch, because of the shape and fact of the hinge lugs, you could wear this watch on a wrist as small as, in my estimation, 14 centimeters in circumference. A watch with a unique lug system, but a relatively conventional, thin, black rectangular alligator leather strap in semi-gloss. It's not matte, it's not gloss. Monotone stitch. It has an edge that's folded, but also slightly sheer. There's a vertical drop to its flank. Now, it has a tenacious combination titanium and white gold deployment clasp. You really have to pull these triggers. 
inward to open it up so you have a great degree of security on the wrist. Talk about not buying an off-the-shelf design for the clasp. This thing is as quirky as the watch itself. Beautifully executed so that it's a broadly evacuated set of components. It feels airy. It feels diffuse. It feels as open and extravagant as the case itself. MCT, the name of the brand. The model, Sequential 2 S200 American Eagle Piece Unique. And it is truly a piece unique. One made this is a watch that is going to be the only example produced, but it is mechanically representative of the Sequential 2 S200 line. So what you're looking at is the MCT caliber MCT-52, automatic with a micro rotor, born on ceramic bearings for high efficiency and low maintenance requirements. It has a big slow balance, beating weight at 18,000 vibrations per hour. It is free sprung for the ability to take and hold a precise regulation in the face of bumps and disruptions on the wrist, but it's also blessed with an overcoil hairspring, so it has robust resistance to gravitational or positionally induced timing deviation. The finish is extensive and outstanding. It is beautifully finished. You can see the anglage broad, so fat across the edge of the bridges and done by hand that you don't even need a loop to truly appreciate it. You can see it lighting up in my light box. Uh, Cote de Genève, beautifully linear and aligned across the bridges. Gorgeously rich and textured. All of the screw heads are black polished. This is a finely finished movement. You can even see there's a nice micro prolage beneath the rose gold winding mass. Now, you can see the architecture is designed. It's designed in the sense that a De Bethune movement is designed. It's not simply a matter of letting the wheels and barrels and levers fall where they may. It's been designed with an architecture as deliberate as the dial or the case itself. As a result, it's aesthetically pleasing not just in its finish, but in its layout. Broad and airy, you can see the escapement, you can see the train, you can see the, we the wheel, the balance wheel beating away at its slow cadence. When you wind the watch, let me see if I can wind the watch here. You can see the barrel rotating. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at the finish and shape of that barrel bridge. I've never seen anything like it. This is spectacular on both sides. 40 hour power reserve, which is rather remarkable. One might even say miraculous considering the amount of apparatus that has to be moved. This watch takes the power requirements of something like a Langa Zeitwerk and increases them dramatically. Once again, you're not likely to see too many watches built like this, but consider where it came from. Denis Giguet, founder of MCT, designed the Harry Winston Opus 11 prior to this venture. Now, if you remember that one, you remember it as the crazy one, the one that seemed to explode into a million pieces before recomposing itself as a time display. That watch shares a little bit of its design DNA with this one. Big, extravagant, with a diffuse system of telling time in a dynamic and unconventional fashion. This watch is going to be a love it or hate it type of piece. Between the underlying architecture, which I should say is also lit by a sapphire port in the flank of the case, so you can actually see the internals more clearly, and the fact that it is unrepentantly pro-United States and it has that strong national association. For some folks, it's going to be a path too far, perhaps like wearing the jersey of your opposing football club. But if you can get around the unique nationalistic branding of the watch, love it for its underlying architecture, and perhaps even consider it a piece of Americana, like a 1963 Corvette or Elvis memorabilia, it might find a place in your collection. See it and own it on our website.